Welcome to DPS Setups, the mini series aimed at getting you into tip top shape for the final shape with zero fluff and no messing around as standard. The old 1 2 of Mountain Top and Recluse are back in town after years of being sunset, and that means some absolutely huge game changing DPS combos are back, which are going to shake up the meta. Mountain Top is even getting a buff straight out of the gate with a 40% buff, so it's going to feel more juice than ever, as the devs put it. It's going to have a ton of new and returning perks and features, which we'll get to in a moment, but I wanted to put it through its paces first with some DPS setups, shedding some light on its possibilities for new players, and relighting the fire for our veteran players. Players. For the uninitiated, the mountain top is used in damage rotations much like the popular combos are with snipers and fusions, generally to complement a bigger heavy hitting combo of abilities or a heavy weapon, and this juiced version with Into the Light is going to excel. First up, we're going for the OG combo of the mountain top and anarchy to set a baseline to be honest, with no jiggery pokery going on, and it hit for about 1 million total damage. Pinging two anarchy traps at the ogre, and then switching to mountain top for a few shots and rinse and repeat as the traps run out. Anarchy was the OG fire and forget weapon, so it's nice to see it's ticking over and working nicely again here. Speaking of anarchy, what the f is going on with it? To say it's an old popular meta pick, I've only just noticed it has moving target as its main standout perk, I mean just look at this compared to Dragon's Breath and whatnot, it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Moving on, and I wanted to up the stakes a bit on this next one, and start to look at what are going to be likely DPS combos with Mountain Top. Sticking with Anarchy and Mountain Top though for starters, I wanted to increase the firepower, so I have added in Apotheosis Veil. This Warlock exotic helmet is deadly for Well of Radiance, because you will rapidly recharge your abilities on casting your super, meaning you can absolutely wail on a target with solar grenades and melees to trigger tons of ignitions and huge damage. I find that the fusion grenade is the best for this and the combo goes like this. Drop your Well of Radiance, fling a melee and a fusion grenade. Ping two anarchy arc traps, then back to your melee and grenade ability. Whip out mountain top for one shot, back to a melee and fusion grenade one more time. Then back to anarchy to reset the arc traps, and switch back to mountain top, whip out a melee or grenade if they recharge, and reply anarchy as required. With Ember of Ashes, this build really cooks and even pre-buff it's going to get you about 1.4 million damage. However, where I can see this truly OG D2 iconic weapon stepping into the meta, is combined with the current king of the D2 endgame meta, and that is Dragon's Breath. Yes I know, real original, but let me show you why. One of the current popular DPS rotations for Dragon's Breath is to pair it with a fusion, either a controlled burst scatter signal, or a Vorpal weapon Cartesian, or whatever solar one you have. Set up with Apotheosis Veil as above, and follow a similar rotation pattern starting off with firing Dragon's Breath, and then unloading your fusion of choice, and this will net you about 1.71 million damage. Which isn't shabby, and to be honest we are proper nitpicking here, but Mountain Top potentially makes this DPS rotation even better. Plus it can and will out damage it in every single way. You only have to land one shot as opposed to multiple bolts from a fusion rifle, and it has less damage drop off, making it more versatile than fusions. All in all, this makes Dragon's Breath with Mountain Top the standout winner of my non scientific DPS test at 1.79 million. Huge, just absolutely huge. So that leaves us with just the perks that you'll want to chase, which will ultimately push this damage test upwards of 2 million. Spike grenades aren't needed so much as a barrel option here anymore, so it opens you up to a few more options, probably looking at a reload focused one. Ambitious Assassin, Overflow and Demolitionist are all great perks in the third column, especially Demolitionist in grenade heavy DPS rotations like above for instant reloads. Vorpal and Frenzy are standouts in the final column for a 15% damage boost, with Frenzy probably be my choice pick. Shout out to Recombination though for the huge 100% one shot damage boost which can drastically boost DPS in short bursts. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed this DPS breakdown of one of Destiny's most iconic weapons. I know we've fairy crafted a little bit here, but I'm really looking forward to getting mountain top once more, and the numbers don't lie, it's definitely going to cook. If you made it this far, your ongoing support is greatly appreciated. If you've been here before, consider subscribing or even joining our fellow members to get some bonus goodies to show off in the comments. As always, shout out to these members for keeping the channel alive, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.